disease um, epidemiology for me is really the foundation of the future of of care in America and and what's what's needed and uh, not just in America I should say yeah. but throughout. health management is a is a booming field like uh, for me personally I like uh, interacting with a lot of uh, personalities and kind of harnessing the talent from uh, all those individuals environmental and health was the new up and coming next frontier of environment of Public health. I actually worked um, for an institute in Boston and got a lot of exposure to data collection, data management, and so that kind of led me into the idea of wanting to pursue an MPH and then specifically biostatistics. You know, at a certain point the cells don't really talk back and so coming to the School of Public Health was a great way to kind of merge my interests in the basic science part with really looking at health on a population level. I and am a flight doctor in, in the Air Force and my job, part of it aside from seeing patients, is ensuring that the health of the base is safe as well as the sur surrounding community. So getting into the nitty-gritty of doing statistical analyses and um, he really found a way to make SAS elegant. My time which is this summer in Ghana was, was uh, really eye-opening in terms of seeing how public health is applied in practice. The flooding in Thailand, our class along with a group of students from Tulane University, we created a VMOC, Virtual Medical Operations Center, and we created a product that kind of outlined what was going on um, and that product ultimately reached about 9,000 agencies and individuals from the Department of Defense, Department of State, and it was, it felt good to know that we were affecting lives real time, real world. I had a wonderful time working with the uh, Children's Hospital at Yale New Haven, and um, I worked with the director and her right hand man to, to kind of research and implement a new uh, protocol in the hospital called Family Centered Rounding. I'm a research associate with the EIP and I am one of the students working on their new food core project. Um, so we recently got funding to do a project that specifically involves surveillance of um, listeria, uh, STEC, and uh, salmonella. I had a chance to work with a researcher at the VA looking at acute um, kidney injury and some of the biomarkers um, that they're considering for um, diagnostic tests. The Epi Journal Club was started this past fall by mm -hmm. students and faculty members together to discuss um, various papers and various literature like methodology, what works, what doesn't, what could be improved, what limitations of um, studies are. I actually edit articles for the Yale Journal of Health Policy, Law and Ethics and I took that on because I wanted to know what was going on in the gym. Um, and we're playing our last game this Saturday, Sunday, um, and the basketball team name is the Fighting Squalry. I applied and actually got a job with Humana. It has a very little um, to do with what we've learned here in terms of the health insurance market because I'm not a policy or a management individual, but again, providing data analysis skills to a broad array of um, areas has kind of been what I've realized through my experience here I can do. The fact that there are physicians or professionals who come from all walks of life, from even from other countries and other parts of the world, just having that amalgamation of different personalities and experiences to draw from. New Haven's not in a metropolitan city, but it's, uh, it's, I consider it a big town, and where you can get, it's anywhere you want by foot or by shuttle, and you can always meet someone new. Like someone the resources of a very uh, committed and intelligent faculty and, uh, and a great context to study public health, both domestically and internationally.